students, let us understand some history, historical background of photosynthesis. Before the 17th century, it was considered that plants take their food from the soil. So we used to believe that everything that comes, whatever that we see on the surface of the land in the form of the plants, they depend on soil and its soil. But later, when Helmont 1648 concluded that all food of the plants is derived from water and not from the soil. It is the soil that just holds the water. Stephen Hales 1727 reported that plants obtain a part of their nutrition from air and light may also play an important role in the process. In 1772, Joseph Presley, he carried out some interesting experiments. He basically took a half-filled pot of water and placed a burning candle in the center of it and covered it with the bell jar and after some time he observed that the candle extinguished. Presley kept a live mouse under the jar and noted that it died immediately. Now both the candle as well as the mice used oxygen. Whatever amount of oxygen that was filled in the jar was being utilized and after that the mice died or you can say the candle extinguished. So later Presley plays a mouse and a potted mint plant under the bell jar and found that the mouse survived for a longer time. Here you see the mouse survived for a longer time. He also found that if a mint plant was kept under a bell jar for a long time and then a burning candle was placed under the jar, it continues to burn for a really long time as compared to the initial condition. So you can see the comparison here. You could see the single standing candle, it extinguished. You see the mint plant and the candle still burning. You can assume that mm, it could be the mint plant that's giving oxygen to this candle all the support that it requires. You could see this is a dead mouse, nothing else, like just no mint, no other plant, but the dead mouse. So it, it has used all the oxygen that was available and now it doesn't have any oxygen to survive. So it's dead. And you see the other case, you see this plant and you see the mice lives for some time long. On the basis of these experiments, students, he concluded that plants have the capacity to purify the foul air. <laughs> That's what he concluded. He concluded that the plants, they have the capacity to purify the air. Jan Ingen Hoss, 1779, concluded by his experiment that purification of air was done by green parts of the plant only and that too in the presence of sunlight. 